you guys. <clears throat> I'm going to try a different video today. I'm going to try to do a full day of eating for you guys to show you guys what I get in my macros. Um, basically what I eat the whole day to fill my macros. So um, right now I just have four whole eggs being cooked up as well as two cups of pancake mix which should make about 12 pancakes. So once the stuff is all done Turn that up a bit. And once the stuff's all done and I'm sitting down eating, I'll come back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, just cooking 12 pancakes. Had the three eggs, or four eggs, and I'm just gonna add some, uh, <clears throat> some original syrup to my eggs and my pancakes. And the the macros for this were, so for this one meal, it's going to be, let's try and get this to focus. Two hundred and sixteen grams of carbs, twenty nine fat, and forty eight protein for this one meal. So, pretty decent sized meal. Um, so I'll catch you guys on the next one, which should be around one o'clock. So, hey guys, so just on my second meal of the day now. It's around one o'clock. Um, just having two cups of white rice with a chicken breast. I decided to just add a little bit of this original syrup to the chicken. Oh, just gives that little extra flavor. Um, and I'm catching up on some YouTube. Just watching some music videos and listening to a good old track right here. Um, yeah, the... Spelling stuff wrong. Yeah, the online coach just released his recent video, which was this one. Pleasant surprise, tanks are plans, and pull workout. So make sure you guys go give that a watch and a view. Um, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, online coach getting it done. Let's do it ads. already watched it already, so definitely give that a view, and also one of his other recent videos I like is Become a Legend. Guys, just about to have my fourth meal of the day. Just having one of these um, Miss Fields. Uh, what are they? Chocolate chip. Yeah, chocolate chip one. The macros on this are pretty good. 270 calories. Uh, 270 calories. 11 fat. 40 grams of carbs, and three grams of protein per one cookie. And also, I'm having four Oreos, which are, per two cookies, it's 110 calories, 
16 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of protein, and 5 grams of fat. As well as, the time now is 2.57. And as well as having a glass of milk. And then there they are. And I'm just still chilling on YouTube. Basically, just, yeah, chilled on YouTube all day. Um, got a bunch of my channel stuff going, so. Yeah, it's been a pretty chill day, so I'm just gonna go hit some back and biceps at about 3.30. Just let this digest for a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it. Stella Gaines, guys. Back and biceps. Gonna really focus on my workout. Throw my music in and just absolutely kill it. Gonna do some landmine rows, lap pull down, seated rows. Um, probably some one arm dumbbell rows. Some deadlifts for sure today. I'm not gonna go super heavy, my lower back kinda hurts from, from other stuff. Yeah, I, I tweaked it doing squats. That three plates, three plate squat in my leg day video, like leg intensity video. Yeah, I tweaked my lower back a little bit, kinda hurts. Um, yeah, I went for three plates un, un, unbelted, so it kinda was stupid because it was pretty heavy for my first attempt without bands, but what can, what can I do? Just, Stupidity. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm gonna do some deadlifts, but I'm not gonna go super heavy. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous day out today, except for that gigantic black cloud. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, here's some footage for you, and I'll catch you after my workout.
Just got done with that workout, guys. It was really, really intense. It's a good workout. I loved it. Threw my music in. Killed the workout. I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. Grab a few things, grab some groceries, and then head home to eat. Yeah, I cracked my fucking phone screen. So that wasn't fun, but what can you do? Just gotta find somewhere in town now that's not gonna like charge me like 200 bucks to fix my phone. It's pretty bad too. It's raining. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's huge. It's all cracked. My fault though. It's an lap down machine. I like went back up after the set and then all I felt was it just crack right under like the part that holds your leg. So whatever, it's my fault. Next time I won't. Next time I won't use my phone while I'm doing while I'm working out. I'm gonna buy like an MP3 player or something for my music because like I really don't need I really don't need to use my phone during my workouts. Enough of that texting bullshit in the gym. But yeah. I'm gonna go to the I think Walmart right now. Grab a few things, go home and cook, eat, and then chill for the rest of the night, edit this video. Full day of eating, so I'm just gonna cut the video short here. Um, I'm just gonna go home and have two cups of rice with a chicken breast again, and then right before bed, or like a midnight, midnight snack, not a midnight snack, but like around nine o'clock, I'm gonna have, I'll put this in my trunk. Around nine o'clock, I'm gonna have four Oreos again with casein protein. And then right before, right before bed, I'll have another protein shake, but this time I'll have two cups of ground, ground oatmeal with, uh, just attach this right here. Yeah, two cups of ground oatmeal with some Greek yogurt mixed in with some whey, yeah. Basically it, and then that's my full day of eating. All those, all that food should equal around 4,000 calories right now. That's what I'm sticking at. I was around 5,500 calories, but I cut it down for a week just to see how my body would react. Reacted really well, actually. I was two pounds off, yeah, two pounds off 200 pounds, and then, yeah, I dropped down to 192 within a week of cutting my macros down 1,000 calories, so. But yeah, I'm kind of torn between I've been talking to some knowledgeable guys and I'm kind of torn between just lean bulking for another four weeks and then starting my cut for the November show or don't compete in November and bulk strong until March, April, May, until March next year. Yeah, so that's like another six, six, seven month bulk and then cut down for the May show which is Western Canadians. Which is, a, which is a tested show, so I'd have a lot better chance of placing. Or even taking overall, like who knows what could happen in a show. You never know, it's what the, it's the package you bring, how proportionate you look, if the judges like you, and that's really it. So we'll see what happens with that, but I'm gonna give myself another three weeks to decide what I wanna do, but plans might change. So I just don't wanna disappoint anybody out there, but at the end of the day, it comes down to what I wanna do, what my body is telling me to do, and how I look, so. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Please make sure to go check out my leg intensity video as well as my consistency is key. Um, people are loving that one right now. Um, and thank you for all the support. Like, this means a lot. I'm just trying to grow my channel, grow who I am, become a better person. <sighs> yeah, motivate, inspire, and educate others to do the best they can, to be the best people they can become, and just live life to the fullest. Like, you gotta think, like, if you say you want to do something, for example, you want to compete in a show, but you're not sure when, in my predicament, yes, I want to compete in a show, but I'm torn between two. And it's do I want to lose size, compete in a tested show, or do I want to just gain more size and then cut down and compete in a non-tested show, which is, or other way around. So compete in a, compete in a non-tested show, or I can just wait and then compete in a tested show where I'll be competing against competitors that are the same as me. They're not, well, most of them probably were, will be on gear, but they've probably stopped a couple months ago. Who knows what, what they're doing. But for me, I'm all natural and I want to stay that way for a little bit here. But at the end of the day, it comes down to what I want to do. But you got to think to yourself, no matter what goals you set, 
time is gonna pass anyways. Like, I hear people like asking me, I wanna start the gym, I wanna go to the gym. And I'm like, okay, well then just start, like go. What's a better day than tomorrow? Oh, but I got this, this, and this coming up and I can't really make it and I'm like, excuse me? You just told me that you wanna start going to the gym. But you're telling me you're not gonna start tomorrow? What better time is there to start than tomorrow? Why not just go? Start your, start your, start your whole, your whole fitness journey tomorrow. What's wrong with starting tomorrow? Time's gonna pass anyways. So from the time that you said that to the time that you actually start, whether it be a month, two months, three months, that time is passing you anyways. If you think about that, that's one, two, three months that you could have had progress in. You could have lost that 10, 15 pounds in that three months, but no, what did you decide to do? You decided to, to start later on. Why not start tomorrow, guys? Like, pursue your fitness goals, pursue your, like who you're gonna become, and enjoy the process. Like, for me, it, it varied because I got sick a few times. When I started working out, I lost a lot of gains. Like, I don't know what happened with me, but now I'm just on the gain train. I'm, I'm getting there, so, yeah. Hope everybody enjoys their night and sleep well.